Do you want to learn how to lower your blood sugar? Do you want to learn how to reverse diabetes? This new program called Halky Diabetes can help you to do all that. Watch this video to learn more about it. Tell your children and husband you love them and say your goodbyes to the doctor. You will be in a diabetic coma very soon, and I don't know what will happen next. Terrified and barely conscious, my wife looked over at our two kids standing outside as he showed us the test results. A normal blood sugar reading was 120. Hers was 488. I stared in horror. I felt like I'd been punched in the gut. My wife Kathy sobbed uncontrollably, struggling to catch each precious breath. It had only been five years since her diabetic symptoms began, and there it was, the cold hard truth staring us in the face. My badass wife, the boss of our family, a proud lady who would shut up anyone brave enough to give her lip, trembling, cold, and white as a sheet. Please, isn't there anything you can do? I begged Dr. Grayson, who stood there motionless, glancing at the clock as if I was wasting his time. We are trying to lower her blood sugar, he said but it's likely too late. The medications don't seem to be working as well as we'd hoped. I'll be honest, I've not seen it this bad before. And then he hit us with it. The deterioration is so rapid that I'd be lying if I promised you any improvement. I'm sorry to say this, Kathy, but you may only have half an hour before slipping into a coma. Half an hour? 30 short minutes. That was all he was giving my dear wife, Kathy, before she would fall into unconsciousness. I could see the fear in Kathy's eyes. 48 years of her life, all her precious memories, soon to be lost in the abyss her mind close to shutting down, trapped in her own body, with the very real chance she may never wake up. Thoughts raced through her mind, no longer being able to see the beautiful smiles on her children's and grandchildren's faces, not seeing them grow up or getting married, not being there to support her children and husband, or growing old together as we'd always imagined. As she lay in the cold steel hospital bed, contemplating the most depressing future she could imagine, I felt ashamed, ashamed that I hadn't done anything sooner when I knew her blood sugar was getting out of control. Embarrassed because I believed the doctors when they told us the medication would work. Fear of never hearing Kathy's voice again or holding her in my arms and having to go on with my life without her if she didn't wake up. Anger at God for inflicting this pain and misery on such a beautiful, caring, loving woman. How would I tell our kids, our grandkids, that their mom or grandma may never wake up? I prayed to God to wake me from this nightmare, but it was real, it was happening. The thought of Kathy motionless in a coma broke my heart. She was my rock. But in the next 30 minutes, I could lose her forever. So why do I share this story with you? Well, these were some of the most painful moments of my life, but it forced me to go on a journey that changed everything in my life and the life of thousands of men and women around the world. Where would I uncover the real cause of type 2 diabetes, a truth unknown to the diabetes industry, whose entire business relies on you taking more and more medications? You see, despite what you've been told, your uncontrolled blood sugar and increasing belly fat has nothing to do with how many sugars or carbohydrates you eat, how much exercise you do, what medications you take, or even genetics or the aging process. But it is instead all down to a little known but highly dangerous toxin found on every corner of earth, which is ruthlessly invading the cells of every diabetic, pre-diabetic, even those who struggle with weight loss. And according to a hidden but groundbreaking new 2018 study by a team from Washington University School of Medicine and published in the Lancet Planetary Health is the real cause of type two diabetes including all 3.2 million new diabetics in 2017. But there is an answer by using a simple 60 second habit twice a day known only to the inhabitants of a small, barely populated Aegean island, 4,800 miles from home. You can flush out this dangerous toxin from your body and reverse and repair any damage it has caused. A discovery that not only saved my wife Kathy from a second certainly fatal ketoacidosis coma, but in just over three weeks reversed every single symptom of her type two diabetes. Her blood sugar going from a dangerous 488 to a stable and healthy 125. No matter what she ate, drank, her diabetes meds, test strips, and glucose readers tossed in the trash. The debilitating stabbing nerve pain in her feet and legs vanished. And even better, suddenly losing 56 pounds of deadly belly fat. Going from this to a slim and sexy 160 pounds, saving her from the fatal effects of heart disease and restoring the youthful energy, sex drive, and vigor that was believed to be lost forever leaving Dr. Grayson speechless and every diabetic desperate to know her secret. Best of all, she was able to do it without restricting her diet, without any pricey or dangerous supplements, without a single second of exercise or special equipment, without popping a single tablet or pill, or stabbing herself with another insulin needle. Instead, all she did was a simple and easy 60 second habit twice a day, a 100% safe and natural ritual using inexpensive and easily found ingredients picked up from our local grocery store. 
the near miraculous type 2 diabetes reversing habit I stumbled on that literally saved my wife's life and gave her back her lean, sexy, and pain-free body is something too important to hide. And until now has been the problem. This simple 60-second habit has been right under our noses as it's been kept from us by the folks we trust to make us better. But not anymore, because in the next three and a half minutes, I'm going to share with you why everything you thought you knew about diabetes, how to treat it, is flat out wrong. You are going to be filled with disgust when you hear a big pharma insider break his code of silence and reveal the three biggest diabetes lies touted by doctors around the world. I will reveal the identity of the deadly toxin, the real cause of type 2 diabetes, and the clinically proven ancient 60 second habit that you can do tonight to flush this toxin out, which will, while you're sleeping, start normalizing your blood sugar, reversing your diabetes, slashing your risk of heart attack, amputation, blindness, and burning away stubborn fat plus all the peer-reviewed studies that prove how this works. I'll even share with you the little-known warning signs which show a diabetic coma is imminent, something I'd wish I'd known before that night with Kathy. The truth is, you and your doctor simply do not know about this simple, all-natural, and unconventional breakthrough. This incredible twice-daily 60-second habit is so effective that in just over three weeks has reversed the type 2 diabetes in 33,405 people, and this number is steadily increasing, meaning Every day, my inbox is full of new success stories from people who have had amazing results. And just as I can promise the sun will rise tomorrow morning, so can I promise this will work for you too. Whether you're male or female, 18 or 80 years old, whether you've tried every single diet, medication, and treatment out there, if you're already diabetic, pre-diabetic, and have been 10 minutes or 10 years or just worried about your increasing waist size and uncontrolled blood sugar, and want to effortlessly lose weight and take back control over your health, you may be feeling skeptical, but listen carefully. Put your phone on silent and take detailed notes as I promise you that this can be a reality for you very soon. But before I reveal any more, it's absolutely crucial that you keep watching until the very end while you still have the chance because I honestly don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to keep this presentation online. In the US alone, Americans pay an average of 327 billion, that's billion with a B, each year for diabetes medication, insulin, and care. And Big Pharma are scared because what I'm about to reveal could destroy their business model overnight. The very same cash cow that will never reverse your diabetes, but keep you as a customer for life. The last thing they want is for you to see what I'm about to show you. This information could save your life or the life of someone you love. So listen up because we don't have much time. Today, I'm offering you the chance to reverse your diabetes, to never worry about slipping into a fatal coma, or diabetic complications like amputations, vision loss, hypertension, to never worry about being a burden to your family financially, physically, or emotionally, to never worry about your ever-expanding waistline or what your partner really thinks about it but is too scared to tell you. You'll never again worry about insulin shots, medications, or whether you took your meds or if you took too much, to be free of the guilt about shame about having diabetes, as well as being free from what others think about what you eat. Instead, you eat what you want, when you want. You naturally control your blood sugar the way nature intended. You shed pounds of pure fat like clockwork from your belly, arms, hips, waist, and face. You restore your energy, vitality, elasticity of your skin and joints, and turbo boost your sex drive. And you feel younger, healthier, happier, and more energetic than you have in years, even decades. It's time to free yourself from the prison of diabetes once and for all. Does that sound good to you? then stay right where you are for just a couple more minutes and listen to every single word of this presentation because I promise you, you can reverse your type 2 diabetes with nothing more than these delicious dressings from your lunch and dinner. Yes, it is really that easy. But of course, I don't want you to simply take my word for it. Elizabeth Rolf, a 56-year-old nurse from Redmond, Washington, was already a type 2 diabetic and was terrified her condition was becoming worse and she'd have to live with a life of painful insulin shots. Skeptical, she had decided to try out this trick for herself. Within just 27 days, her blood sugar was back to normal, that of a non-diabetic, leaving her doctor stunned. Plus, she boosted her energy and lost over 17 pounds of stubborn fat in the process, going from this to this. I'm so glad I tried this secret. It's been a life changer for me, and my husband is loving my new body, she said. John Prince from Concord, California, is a 66-year-old retired architect. He thought he knew everything about diabetes until he saw this protocol. I was so scared of losing my vision. My mother went blind from diabetes, he said. And since adding these dressings to his lunch and dinner, he was now taking back control over his blood sugar, 
all while eating whatever he wants. He lost 21 pounds and gone from this to this. For the first time in 15 years, I am type 2 diabetes free. Thank you so much, he said. Okay, in just a few minutes from now, I'm going to reveal the real hidden cause of your uncontrolled blood sugar diabetes and weight gain and show you the scientific evidence that proves beyond all doubt that your diabetes can be reversed simply by adding these two simple dressings to your current diet. But first, it's time I introduce myself properly. Hello, my name is Eric Whitfield. I'm an iron worker. My wife Kathy and I live in Owego, New York, and I'm 53 years old. We have a son and daughter and three awesome grandkids and another one on the way. I've been a hardworking guy all my life, scaling skyscrapers and even done some ship fitting in my day. Believe it or not, I was even part of the cleanup crew sent to the ground zero after 9-11. With the exception of hearing Kathy was minutes away from a potentially fatal coma at that time, I spent at the remains of the World Trade Center was the hardest thing I'd ever done in my life. Words are just so inadequate to try and share with you what I saw and felt during those long, awful days. You really understand what it means to come under attack. And do you know something? That's happening to our bodies each and every day. We're all under vicious attack from an enemy that cares nothing for us, that's forcing diabetes upon us each and every person on earth, no matter their age, race, or situation. Fortunately for you, a bizarre chain of events handed me the weapon I needed to defeat this invisible diabetes, causing toxin for good, and save my wife's life. And it will do the same for you too. So how did I do it? Well, right now I have a very personal and embarrassing story to tell you, which begins almost five years ago. Up until then, frankly, my ignorance about diabetes could have filled Yankee Stadium. We were your average, happily married 40-somethings, enjoying life, and like the majority of people, taking our health for granted pretty much every day. I'm just a metal jockey. What did I know about diabetes? I was hardly ever sick a day in my life. Kathy began to complain more often about low energy and dizziness. Until one cold January morning, when we received the news that would change our lives forever. My wife was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Kathy was shocked. We all were. I mean, she was barely over 40 years old at the time. She'd been an all-star track athlete in her teens, an athlete her whole life. It was one of the things that made me fall in love with her. Straight away, the doctor put her on the medication metformin to regulate her blood glucose levels. And although we didn't realize it at the time, this moment would mark the beginning of a five-year nightmare. It didn't take long for the side effects to kick in. Weakness, muscle pains, abdominal pains, heartburn, bloating, you name it. She had it, but still we trusted the doctors and continued to let the medication help her. As the years rolled by, Kathy's energy levels, vitality, mood, and general health and well-being went rapidly downhill. And although her medication was supposed to help, she piled on more and more weight as she found herself unable to fight the intense cravings for sugary and starchy foods that overpowered her every day. She went from the energetic motivator to sluggish and overweight. And the more weight she put on, the more depressed she became, and the further away she drifted from the woman I'd fallen in love with. And if that was bad, things were about to get a whole lot worse. Just over a year ago, Kathy was diagnosed with high blood pressure and high cholesterol too. And she began to suffer from sharp stabbing pains in her left leg and foot. She was told that she had nerve damage and was prescribed more meds to deal with that, which created a whole bunch of side effects that left her feeling sick and even more depressed. Before long, she found herself in so much pain because of the nerve damage that she could barely walk or even stand for longer than a few minutes. And because she wasn't able to get out of the house and do any kind of exercise, the weight just piled on, which put added pressure on her heart and other organs. She was stuck on the medication merry-go-round with no escape. Within the space of just four years, Kathy's weight had ballooned from a relatively healthy 160 pounds to a massive 216 and her blood sugar levels were becoming dangerously high. Kathy told me she feared the worst. We tried everything to help her get back her independence and health. Exercise, restrictive, boring, tasteless diets, plant-based diets. I even tried to get her to do the high intensity exercise, but it was just too painful for her. We even tried the impossible 600 calorie a day diet that left her feeling weak and tired. In fact, after every single miracle diet, she ended up weighing more than when she started. Weight loss surgery was out of the question as her weight wasn't high enough. And even then it didn't feel right when her weight gain wasn't what caused the diabetes. The diabetes has caused her weight gain. On top of it all, our sex life had completely gone. We found ourselves slipping into a long, boring routine of going to work, watching TV, and going to bed while feeling constantly tired, depressed, unhappy, and dissatisfied. Don't touch me. I'm fat and disgusting. I'm always going to be fat and disgusting. 
I don't want you to touch me, she yelled. When I reached out to hold her, to kiss her, to show her how much I loved her, no matter what she looked like, seeing her laying there in pain, grabbing her belly fat, she hated so much. I felt powerless and weak in every way I could never thought I could. She was my wife. I promised to take care of her, but I couldn't. It was the day after that when she collapsed at home while walking to the kitchen. I heard a loud bang and found her on the floor, her head heavily bleeding from the impact of the fall. Her breathing was erratic and shallow. I called an ambulance who rushed her to the hospital. In the ambulance she came to but was barely conscious and confused. Once we reached the hospital, the doctor explained that she had suffered from severe ketoacidosis, that her blood sugar levels were too high and she was minutes away from coma or death. She was showing all the warning signs such as frequent urination, thirst, fatigue, and shortness of breath, but I just didn't know about them at the time. Her blood sugar was over 480, a potentially fatal level. As I sat there beside her hospital bed, holding her hand in mine, I made a promise to myself. If Kathy survived, I was going to do everything in my power to defeat her diabetes for good, whatever it took. There was no way I was going to let my kids grow up without their mom or grandkids without their grandma and I knew I wouldn't be able to cope without her by my side. I was going to fix her, and I was going to do it without drugs. After all, the reason for most of her health problems over those five years had been because of the drugs she'd been taking, because that's when her health really began to worsen. I knew that if I didn't act soon, the same thing could happen again, and I wasn't going to run that risk. Thankfully, Kathy survived her severe ketoacidosis, and the blood sugar lowering medications they gave took hold just as she was slipping away. She was feeling very sick and tired, but was conscious and alive. She'd been lucky. She stayed in the hospital that night. So beside her, I powered up my laptop when she'd gone to sleep and began my quest. First, I started with diabetes. It's well known that diabetes is caused by something called insulin resistance. This is when the cells in your muscles and organs start resisting or ignoring the signal that insulin is trying to give them, which is to take the blood sugar, also known as glucose, from the bloodstream and deposit it in the cells. It is this glucose that cells use as energy from the food we eat. So click on the link below to learn more about this amazing method. So go ahead and change your life today.